What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Mike the Tech and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the constantly going to gaming services when you open certain games on specifically Xbox uh, Game Pass on PC. Um, if you're encountering this issue where you're seeing game services every time you try and load up a game and nothing seems to be working, I feel your pain and went through the same myself. Before we get this video started, I wanna give a huge shout out to Todd M and Leslie Media. Thank you so much for your support. If you wanna support this channel and help me keep making videos like this, click on that thanks or join button below. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is this is annoying, period. Um, I don't know why it happens. Um, there's a few things that I did to fix it on mine, and I'm going to run you through all the different things I tried um, that will eventually lead you to hopefully fix yours. Um, so the first thing we're going to try, um, and I'll start with the easy ones and then move forward. Um, is restarting the gaming service service. So if we click on start and type in services, uh, click on that, and then you're gonna scroll all the way down to gaming, and you'll see gaming services is running. Uh, you just right click on each of these and go to restart, and it'll stop the service, start the service, this one as well, restart, stop the service, start the service, and um, give that a shot. The second thing is if you've been messing with the Insider program, um, Xbox Insider Hub, and you've subscribed to their Xbox Insider beta, that can change the services running on your computer. So if you go to previews, and wait for them to load apparently, because it takes a while, um, you'll see that Windows Gaming is available. If it says joined, then um, you might want to leave the beta because that might be causing some issues and it'll switch you back to the default gaming services service and will hopefully get you up and running again. Um, if it's essential to have this service, you can go ahead and move on with the tutorial and leave it on and it's still possible that it might fix with the other fixes that we're going to talk about. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. I'm going to open up a page um, so that I can actually copy the uh, scripts here. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to PowerShell, you're going to right click on it, and you're going to run as administrator. Click on yes. And here, and don't worry, I'm going to paste all these codes in the description below. Um, you're going to type in this code right here. So it's get app package gaming services for all users, and then it runs that script remove app package for all users. So it gets gaming services and removes it completely. Um, after you press enter, it'll remove it and um, it'll be gone. And then you're going to remove the um, registry portions. So you're going to type in this script right here, and it's going to remove the path from the registry. And then after you've typed that one, and pressed enter. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it on mine and I don't wanna mess it up again. Um, you're gonna paste this. And that's going to remove the second part from the registry. Once you've removed both of them, you can restart the computer and then um, start the Xbox in, um, program. Try the game you wanna try. It'll take you to the gaming services page and it'll let you install it again. Once you install it, then you can um, it should work from there. If it doesn't, or if it doesn't take you directly to it, you can type this in, which I'll also paste in the description. And when you type that in, it takes you to the gaming services page where you can install it. Um, once you've done that, go ahead and restart your device again and um, try the game and it should work. Uh, the final weird thing to try that worked for me is specifically I was using Halo. Um, I, I was trying to run Halo and it wouldn't, it kept taking me to the gaming services page. And I realized I had just modified the installation to include my HD textures. Um, so as soon as I disabled HD textures, and this is kind of weird, um, when I went to manage game and then I disabled high res textures, um, it started working immediately. It just started letting me play the game. So that worked for me. I'm not sure if that's universal or it was because I had already done the other steps that it started working, um, but that actually worked for me. Um, but yeah, try all those out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below if this helped you, if it didn't. And if not, um, if you did find out how to fix it and it wasn't in this video, please let me know and I'll, I'll update the video myself. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? 
You've never heard of Stream Savers, and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.